Okay, but like, why can't we be friends and kiss and cuddle and love and make love and do all this shit and be friends? No. Like, why? Why can't we? Why? What's the problem with that? There's no such things as friends with benefits. Y'all both go to Stroke City more than one time. Some feelings gonna get involved. I done heard niggas say shit like, yeah, that's just my little thing. That ain't my girl, bro. We just be smashing sometimes. And then see the hurt on their face when they find out that she's smashing somebody else. <laughs> Tell you something, white girl. You do that to me, you're gonna have to show me what them tonsils was like. I don't care about the little birthday party no more. I don't care about that cake no more. Ain't no way. Y'all could judge me all y'all want, but ain't no way. You was gonna swallow my whole hand like that and expect me to think regular for the rest of the party. No, ma'am. Now I'm trying to figure out is this like a family gathering or is this like a, a company event? Because <laughs> if this is a company event, I'm telling HR that you put your mouth on me and didn't finish the job. A man is not responsible to pay your bills during the dating phase. Like, y'all be letting social media get to y'all head. Y'all over there talking about, so a man can't text me what, what I'm doing and my rent is $3,000. Why is your rent $3,000? Why did you accumulate all that? Okay, that, that wasn't his fault when you decided to stay there. Okay, I don't feel like y'all want a man for real just say you want a sponsor just say you want to be a prostitute <laughs> just say you want to sleep with a man for some money just just say that just say i want to be an escort say that because real love ain't what i'm getting from this <laughs> that's not that's not what i'm giving that's not what it's giving because it's usually give and take when it comes to relationships. Facts. So, give and take. I don't, I don't know about y'all, but... Sacrifices, I love give my, and take. I my man, my man, and I spoil him just as much as he spoiled me. If we not married, I shouldn't be paying your bills. If we not living together... I shouldn't be paying your bills. You have to go through a trial period before we even do that. You know how you go for a new job? Let's say you get a job with a temp service. They have that 90-day trial period. And then they decide if they want to hire you. If you're trying to vet whether you should be in a relationship with somebody or not, 90 days is not enough. You need at least two years, bro. I've heard people getting married after six months. And congratulations to you. You know, if you feel as though it's love at first sight. But for me, that ain't going to work for me. I got to know you. I have to know you before I decide I want to pay your bill and damn near claim you on my taxes. You have to prove to me that you deserve me doing that. You have to earn that shit. Back in the day, dudes was taking care of their household. You had housewives. In 2024, man, these ladies ain't built to be housewives. To be honest with you, I feel as though y'all have a lot more to offer to the world than just being a housewife. This is my opinion. I've met some very intelligent young ladies who... The mind and the creativity that comes from them will be wasted if they were just to be a housewife. I know some of y'all fellas ain't gonna like that, but it's the truth. I don't really blame the ladies, even though I think it's selfish, because it's dudes out here that's doing that. That's who I blame. The dudes that do that. The dudes that say shit like, it ain't tricking if you got it. <laughs> saw her punch the bag was you really looking at her punch the bag how strong was her punch that's the first thing i want you to answer but did you see the fans behind her it is amazing to see how dudes act when a pretty female is around one thing i'm gonna tell you is that when i was out here in these streets you ain't never gonna see me circling around no like no vulture i was too cool for that i'm gonna acknowledge that you're pretty but i ain't gonna be on your i ain't gonna be riding your woman parts what are things you do now that you feel like would make you a good wife? I cook, I clean, <laughs> I'm supportive, loving, caring, um, funny. I feel like you gotta have a comedian in your life. If you don't have a comedian in your wife, you're not laughing and your life is not fun. Like I agree with her. The reason I agree with her is that most of y'all ain't funny. A few videos ago, I said that a lot of y'all females don't got no game. I'm doubling down on that, but I'm also adding 
that a lot of y'all ain't funny. I'm gonna be real with you. The only reason some of these dudes laugh at your corny ass jokes is because you got a fat ass. Your life is just a job. Okay. So I would say, like, I'm a best friend type shit. So if you're looking for a best friend and a wife and one, you got me. I feel as though I reacted to this video before. I'm not 100% sure, but she preaching. Personally, I feel as though the perfect relationship starts off as a friendship. I don't want to put my relationship on a pedestal because we did have our ups and downs, but what I can say is we started off as friends. From the beginning to now, the basis of our relationship is friendship. How I be talking to y'all is how I be talking to her. It works for us. It might not work for everybody else, but it works for us. Why does my husband, every time he sees like another black man, he always said, Oh, uh, hey. I don't like the way she put that emphasis on black. I know you out there getting chocolate mumu, but I don't like that. Yes. All right now. Yeah. And then say it back. All right now. That's like, what's up? Hi, how you doing? All right now. You don't say it to white people? They... Y'all wouldn't they understand. Why? They don't... I'm gonna tell you. Hey, here we go. I'm gonna say all right now when we go on Trader Joe's <laughs> to a white person. Like, all right now, what? <laughs> 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 we have to try it out right now. All right now. <laughs> Anytime I see an old head and he say all right now, it might be pertaining to my car. Back in the day, it, it be pertaining to my wife. Come on go see me and my wife walking and he'd be like all right now or like i might be driving by in my car and somebody and an old head would be like all right now i see you i see you young fella but you know it's cool bro i i can do it though all right now some of y'all old heads from new york that grew up in like the 80s the early 90s y'all got some explaining to do because calling another grown-ass man daddy i don't know where y'all got that from Motherf yeah what's good done what's up daddy yeah. I don't know how y'all was getting away with that, man. They got some of you rap on tape calling other grown ass men daddy. Just remember that. I have been sitting here for the past 45 minutes trying my best to make this video sound as Caucasian as possible. And it's not working. I don't know what to tell you guys. This is me. If you don't like it, keep on scrolling. I put my nose rings up too, so that way we wouldn't have any booger confrontations either. I hate to be lost and love to be found. So, I have a question. Cheers. If you have cheated one time in your relationship or you're a habitual cheater, whatever, when you are out with your sneaky link, whatever you want to call it, the person that you're cheating with, are you thinking about your partner at home? What's going through your head about your partner? Is your partner crossing your mind at all? And if so, like, what are you thinking? I have a good question that's a good question what what y'all be thinking about when y'all be out here cheating I think that most cheaters while they're out with their sneaky link try to justify what they're doing the only reason I'm here is because she's not doing this for me the only reason i'm here is because he doesn't make me laugh he doesn't make me smile he's not the same person he used to be they might try to relive a time in the relationship where their significant other hurt them and they feel as though being out cheating and doing whatever with a sneaky link is them serving their significant other karma I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right.